This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. Authorities are trying to find out an explanation into the stabbing and killing of two young boys before the alleged assailant took his own life outside the victim's home in Spring, near Houston. Officials said 25-year-old Joseph Winchester Thornton stabbed and killed two boys, 10 and 8, who were the adopted sons of his uncle, Christian Shane Archer. Thornton was in the house with the boys and other relatives who were elsewhere in the house at the time of the incident Sunday, said Thomas Gilliland. A spokesman for the Harris County Sheriff's Office. He was not clear whether Thornton had been staying at the house. Deputies had not determined what set off Thornton. Alcohol did not appear to be a factor, nor did Thornton having any mental illness. The incident was a shock to relative Sunday, who stood trembling and weeping outside the home on the 6200 block of Darby Way, where Hunter Archer 10 and Jaden Archer 8 were stabbed. Hunter was pronounced dead at the scene, and Jaden was rushed by life flight to Memorial Herman Hospital, where he later died. Jaden was a second grader and Hunter a fifth grader at Northampton Elementary School in the Klein School District. The case remains under investigation. Classes resumed yesterday in the Bastrop Independent School District, which serves Bastrop, Cedar Creek, Red Rock, Rockney, and Page. The district on its website lists resources for wildfire victims, including counseling, clothing, food, and even information on pets that are missing. Hundreds of residents evacuated more than a week ago from the area about 25 miles east of Austin. Officials say nearly 1,600 homes have been destroyed by wind-driven wildfires amid dry conditions during the lingering drought. Firefighting teams are staying on top of the remaining wildfires, even as gusty winds reportedly rekindle several hot spots recently. The federal government on Friday declared Texas as a disaster area, paving the way for financial aid. Since President Obama signed a disaster declaration for Bastrop County, residents and business owners affected by the fires may be eligible for low-interest federal loans. Amounts and terms will be set by the Small Business Administration. Interest rates can be as low as 2.5% for homeowners and renters and 4% for businesses. To be considered, fire victims must first call the Federal Emergency Management Agency. An earthquake has shaken part of rural West Texas. The U.S. Geological Survey says a 4.4 magnitude quake happened around 7.30 a.m. Sunday morning, centered 11 miles northeast of Snyder. The area is about 190 miles west of Fort Worth. The San Angelo Standard Times reported firefighters had no reports of injuries or damage. Lieutenant Darrell Craig says he and other firefighters at first thought maybe a gas plant had exploded so they went outside the fire station but couldn't see any smoke. Crews later learned that there had been an earthquake. Craig says there have been several smaller aftershocks, but nothing too big. Dallas repossession firms already are using mobile cameras. Now the city of Dallas is planning to add mobile cameras as well. Dallas is adding a new roaming fleet of sophisticated cameras to track down municipal court violators. Similar cameras belonging to repossession companies have been scanning streets in Dallas for years with the license plate recognition technology. Even if you don't mind being photographed by the city of Dallas, you might consider dressing up a bit the next time you hit the sidewalks in Dallas. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.